So I just finished putting together uh, the Twitter house, which you can see here in front of me. Uh, really cute little project. And um, of course, great little piece of home decor, little flap in the back so you can put your light in there. Uh, but now that was the Twitter house. We now have a tweet house. It's kind of um, a double layered roof sort of design, a little bit different, um, definitely cool. And uh, let's take a look at what we have. So if you put the first one together, the second one is gonna go together kind of the same and may actually even be easier uh, with less steps. So just as we did the first time, we're just gonna kind of go through everything systematically one at a time. Make sure that you have no issues along the way and get everything done and have a great time doing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by putting together the base, okay? And the base is made up of this piece here. I'm gonna take this piece, this, this section here that has the large piece hinged to this wall. I'm gonna push that out of the way. And I'm gonna begin by gluing these two rectangular, <laughs> try again, Leo, triangular tabs to the wall right here. So just get that nice and lined up, nice and aligned and give it a squeeze and just hold that in place. Let that set. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to the other side here. And throw a little bit of glue on this tab here. And hold that in place. I'm definitely looking forward to the birds coming home, coming back. I know they're around, but not enough of them. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a, a piece of scrap paper because you can already tell this little area here needs a little extra, a little extra dab of glue. You know, because it's got this piece that's connected to it, this large, relatively speaking, heavy piece. It kind of pulls away from that piece there and I'm just gonna give that a little extra love, make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Okay. All right, so moving on over to this side now, we'll grab our glue, put it on one of the triangular tabs, get that aligned and just squeeze. So we're just taking the tab from this piece here and connecting it to this wall here. Very simple. Okay, and last little, last little tab here. I'm gonna tuck that in. I use my little glue head to push that down and apply my glue. Tuck it in and under and behind this wall here. And just give it a squeeze and let that set. Okay, all right, so structurally, got the walls up, and what we can do is put our glue on these three tabs here. And get that, just spreading that out right up to the very edge so that when I close this up, it's nice and clean, nice and seamless. Okay, and fold that over. Focus on this section here. Just make sure that's nice and flush with the front there. And then you can run your fingers along the edges here to close that up. Now we're gonna end up flipping this over. This is gonna be the bottom of our base. So if it's not perfect, it's okay. That's why we're starting here. And if we make a few little mistakes along the way, May as well start on the things that are least significant and just kind of work up from there. Just build up our confidence. And, you know, even I get intimidated when I sit down to put these projects together for the first time because 
the this thing here that you see from the last video this is the one that I'm going to photograph and put on the website it's my first first attempt at putting that together and if I can do it my first time around I, I know you can too okay so I've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of glue popping up there or not glue but it's not sitting flat as you can see there see how it's kind of poking up it's gonna pop a little glue under there and press it down yep so you know if you're just starting out and you've made some projects before and you're like well I'm no good at this you know um, I wasn't that great at this either not that long ago and um, just kind of learn some tips and tricks along the way and there's nothing you can't really fix so don't don't ever feel bad okay now let's put together the little perimeter fence if you will and there's a little fold on this edge here so make sure you get that folded and then there's this little this little corner piece it's just like that just that little area there so make sure you get that folded do the same thing with the other one so this is gonna be it's gonna be very familiar if you already made the other birdhouse because the other birdhouse has kind of a little little fancy sort of thing happening as well okay I'm gonna push that down there we go okay um, so again this is the part that we just finished I'm gonna flip that over and use the top part where everything was already connected and everything looks nice no sense in not using something that looks great Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start by uh, I'm gonna start by gluing this center piece here. Okay, the idea is to take these little nubby sections and hide them behind the other sections so everything looks seamless and uh, there's no lapse in, in continuity, so to speak. So I'm getting glue on the middle portion here and just kind of using the natural corner there on this box getting this nice and lined up and just running my finger along the surface here to get that in place okay just like that we're gonna leave this piece open for now I'm not gonna touch that just yet okay then we can go over here and get this glued down you don't need to put glue on the top part of this little nub, as I'll call it, just on the bottom. And just hold that in place. You can put that down on your table. Use your table as a, a pusher. Not that kind of pusher. Okay. All right, so now you can take this other piece and we're going to connect it here onto the little nub piece so you can grab your glue and put it all along this piece here and then a little bit on that little nub okay so just line that up and align it with that little nub piece right and press that down along the edge here And then we're going to get this part glued down. So I'm just throwing a little bit of glue on there, and then you can go all the way out to the nub. Get that glue off my table. Okay. Just make sure that it's nice and flush with the bottom. Run your finger along there. And there we go. And then we can close it off by just attaching this piece here. So let's throw a little glue on here. So you want to put a little bit of glue on the entire little nub section and then also all the way along this piece. Just kind of spreading that nice and thin. Here we go. 
and there we go. And just run your finger along the, the rest of that. Make sure that it's nice and connected, nice and flat and flush. And there is, there's our base, almost. And take a look and see if you've got any little areas that are kind of pulling back. If they are, of course, just grab a little bit of glue, throw it on there, tuck it in, and just paint it into these little areas that you're not happy with, and then just press and hold, give them a little extra love, and then you're good. Now, one other thing that we've done with this base is we've given it, um, you know, this almost looks, almost has like a grassy appearance. So we're just gonna pop that right in. It should fit perfectly. Okay, so let's throw, throw a little bit of glue onto the structure here, the base, and get it out to the perimeter just to make sure that that sits nice and flat. And there we go. And just pop that right in. This is a perfect square, so it should fit regardless of which way you pop it in. And there we go. Perfect fit, like a glove. Okay, all right, so there's our base, very simple. Nice little way to get your feet wet and kind of just get started here. We'll put that off to the side and let that dry. And just like we did before with the last house, I'm gonna to put together our little planter. Okay, and I want my planter to be brown on the outside. So I'm gonna fold it around this way. And what we want to do is simply put our glue onto the little triangular tab here and connect it with the face or the back, whichever side you decide this is going to be. Just connect it to the back side of that, press, hold, and there you go. And then you can either do that side next or that side, doesn't really matter. Throw a little bit of glue right on there. Actually, this is the front because of, this, uh, because of this design here. So anyway, that is the front, my bad. Let's just keep that in mind for when we actually place and attach it to the house that this is the front because you can see the front actually has a little panel design that goes on there. Okay, and onto the other side here. Get your glue on that little tab, tuck it behind the back and press and hold that in place for a moment. And the last one here. You can see the little triangle there. Get that, tuck it in. And there we go. Okay. All right, so there is the little planter that's gonna go on the front of our little birdhouse. Of course, I have a little panel that I'm gonna put on, on front of that to give it a little bit of interest and contrast and color. Got a nice spring theme going on here with the papers and the colors and it's gonna look great. It's getting me excited for spring. Luckily, just so happened that today was one of the warmest days that we've had in a while. I think it got into the 40s. So yay for, yay for spring. I'm sure some of our fans down in Australia right now are probably, probably looking forward to some cooler weather, but that's just how it is, I guess. Okay, so we've got that piece on there. And then there's two little side pieces. They're gonna go like that. Now they're only gonna fit on one way. Okay, if you put it on one way, it's gonna be kind of short and it's gonna be long going towards the back. So make sure that you get the orientation correct when you put these little side pieces on. The front piece is obviously pretty self-explanatory. You can't really get it on wrong. And if you do, you'll notice it right away. But this one, not as noticeable, but you know, check your orientation before you place it down because uh, depending on how quickly you realize it, you may not be able to peel it off. So there we go. Get that in there, just like that. And then the other side, and we are done with our little planter. And we're 
rocking and rolling here, making some progress with our cute little birdhouse. Okay, get that one lined up. And when you're getting this, when you're aligning this, um, do your best to get that paper right up to the edge of this piece of paper that we just glued down, just to make it look more seamless. Because the back, you're not going to see the back anyway. That's going to be glued to the house. So if you need to, you can kind of push this up a little bit and get it right up to the front so it looks nice and seamless. That looks nice. Okay, so planter is pretty much ready. Okay, so we've got our we've got our base, we've got our planter. Now what we can do is we can get some panels on and we can get some vellum in place. And just get rid of some more of these pieces. And uh, what am I doing? One, two, should be three. Okay. All right. So we've got three pieces of vellum. This piece is going to go on the front. This is going to be the front. Okay. And the other two are going to go on the sides. There's no vellum for the back. Now, when we place this, you just want to make sure that, um, that you're not obstructing this little hole here. That's the little, uh, that's going to be the bird's little perch. So don't obstruct that hole because we're going to need to feed that in there. Uh, but go ahead and get your glue. Just do some dots around the little design here. Again, making sure we don't obstruct the little perch hole. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. All right, and grab your two side pieces. These are the little side pieces. Let's flip them over. We're putting them on the inside. Okay. Just make sure that you're doing that right, getting them on the inside. And I'm just throwing a few little dots here so nothing comes peeling back. Again, just make sure that when you put this on, you're covering it all the way up, not leaving any of these pretty cutouts open. You want the vellum covering every little section there like that. And we'll repeat the same thing on this side. Okay. And watch the uh, watch the folds here with the with the score lines. Make sure that you keep this within those guidelines as well. Uh, if you get it over, it's not a big deal, but it will make things easier, and it won't kind of obstruct this from folding the way we need it to fold. Okay, so vellum is in place. We may as well, while we can, work flat and put our panels down as well. Okay, so we got this pretty paper. Um, I think I took and hit this with an orange uh, with the inks. If you, you know, I need to just release a video of just inking techniques I don't have many, maybe two or three, but that's all I need. And they work really great, especially when it comes to inking paper. I mean, stamping and all that, that's a whole other story. I don't even get into that. All right, so again, just um, fix your gaze on any point, something. I'm looking at this little teardrop shaped thing and I'm putting it down right there and then kind of working my way around clockwise or counterclockwise, making sure that the rest of the little sections are not being obstructed by this piece that I'm putting down. And when we put that little electronic tea light in there, we want, we want the, uh, the light to come through. Okay, so let's not obstruct any of that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So it's very simple so far. I'm mostly doing, uh, you know, just very light, structural work and then some paper piecing here. So now one thing that I don't get to do that you can do is put on some music. I wish I could listen to music while I did this with you guys, but that would that'd get annoying, I think. And not everybody likes my kind of music. I would do some new age stuff. I got a couple of new age piano players that I really like. One is uh, Liz Story 
and the other is Helen Jane Long. So Liz Story and Helen Jane Long. I can listen to those two for hours. Okay. Yeah, I can't really craft to rock and roll and John Mayer and all that stuff. It doesn't do it for me. It makes me kind of crazy. Okay. All right, so those panels are on. We can kind of just move those off to the side for a second. And what we can do is we can put our little back panel on here. Okay, this is a little door where our tea light's gonna go. And the idea here is just to, just to make sure you get it nice and centered and that the little border going around the door is nice and even, as is the border going around this pattern paper. Okay, so pretty simple. Do your best to get that aligned. It's a lot of surface area, so don't, don't go hard on yourself if you're off a smidge. I know I was on the last project off just a little tiny bit, but you know, it's all about the big picture and some of all the parts. So don't feel bad if you, if one little thing is off by a millimeter, it's not the end of the world. Life isn't always perfect. We just do our best. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Press that down. And, you know, second opinion. It could have probably been over to the right a little more, but oh well. It's there, and it's, it's good enough. All right, we've got this little piece here. That's gonna go on the door. Now with this little piece, um, that's gonna be a little bit, there's not gonna be as much of a border near the score mark. You wanna bring that down a little bit so that the border is more even along these three areas here, okay? And that'll kind of work itself, work itself out. It will look like there's balance there. Okay, so there we go. Get that in place. Make sure you're putting it on the outside here. Okay, not on the inside, because the inside, we're gonna put another piece in there because we've got some ribbon that we're gonna use to open and close this door. And I'll show you how that works later on. We're not ready for that step yet. Okay, there we go. All right, so that part is ready to go, rock and roll. And now we can put the front panel on this guy here. And this one's gonna be pretty easy because you just have to make sure that you match it up with the rest of the cutouts. Okay, so get your glue on the back of your piece here. And let's get that in place. I might be running out of tape here, so you might see a cut. Okay. All right, so focus your gaze on something. I'm gonna look at this circle here and try to get that lined up. There we go, bam. And then the rest of it, kind of looking down here now at where the perch is gonna go, making sure that that's nice and straight. And now just kind of going around the perimeter, watching for the uh, little border that's gonna go all the way around this. And I'd say I did a pretty good job there. Just rubbing off any excess. Excess, not access. Okay, that looks good. All right, we're rocking and rolling here. All right, so now um, there's portions of the little window that we can assemble right now. I'm gonna grab this pattern piece and that's gonna go on first. And as you can see, we're just gonna pop that in place, making sure we're not obstructing any of the cutouts. So that should just kind of fit in like a little puzzle piece. So get your glue on there, don't overdo it. I don't want any of that glue spilling out onto the vellum. And the paper sometimes is forgiving, but on the vellum it just doesn't look good sometimes. Okay, there we go. Pop that down. Perfect. Now this thing's got some shutters. We're gonna put those on later after this thing is structurally assembled so that we don't risk ripping anything or tearing anything off. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our white piece. And that was kind of thin up there. I might have gotten a little bit too much glue on there, so I'm gonna just hit that with my finger and just dab it a little bit to flatten it out. 
so it doesn't come spilling out. That's one thing that I've gotten better at is not getting glue all over everything, which is half the battle. Okay, so now this one here, um, just use the little hole there as your guide for initial placement because that is going to be a perfect fit. And then the little area below that is also going to be a perfect fit. And then finally, focus your gaze on where the little perch hole is. And that's it. Okay, now the shutters themselves, we're going to put those on after the fact, after we get this thing completely assembled because I don't want to risk them getting bent or damaged or anything, but we can put the little accent piece on there. So just kind of follow the curve there, just get that nice and centered and just press that down. Just like that. I'll just put these off to the side until we're ready to use them. So do the same thing there. So eh, what's going to happen is these are going to go like this. We're just going to glue those right on there and with some pop dots, kind of use that as a, a way to give that a little dimension. So grab your other little, looks like almost like a, a cucumber, especially with this pattern paper and grab this piece and get it onto your other shutter. Okay. It does look like a cucumber or like a half a squash. There we go. All right. So these are all prepped and ready to go. We'll put these off to the side for now. Okay, so now that we've got all this in place, the next thing we're gonna do is begin kind of forming the actual birdhouse itself. So you wanna get these pieces together along with these pieces. And the best way to do this, I think, is to just start with one of these tabs here. So let's get our glue on the first tab here and get that glue right out to the very edge there, all the way out to the sides as well. Okay, now when we put this on, we want the large triangular tab to be up towards the top of the house, the smaller angled tab at the bottom. Okay, so just line that up so that it is lined up and get that in place, press, get its initial hold and then I can flip it onto itself like so, just to make sure that we've got it nice and aligned. I'm kind of just nudging it ever so slightly just to make sure that it's nice and flush. Okay, and just press that and hold that down for a moment. Let that set. You can push from the inside too. Okay, so that's what that should look like. And I can see down here that despite my best efforts, it just it didn't get the glue all the way out to the bottom here. So I'm going to paint a little bit of glue in that section and just press that down and let that get a hold. Okay, that looks good. And now we can take and glue the other side to the other tab here at the bottom. So let's do that. Get our glue on this tab. There we go. Just like that. Again, the rectangular tab up at the top. Get it nice and aligned. Like that. Give it a press all the way down to the edges there. And then you can fold it on top of itself and make any little slight adjustments just to make sure that it's nice and lined up. There we go. Take a look at that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And now we're going to join this piece here. So we're going to get some glue on this tab like so. Get that glue right out to the very edge. And thin it out a little bit if you got too much. And press that down like that. There we go. OK. 
Okay. All right. And that was nice and aligned. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and join this and close this up now. So we can take our glue, put it on this tab and get that out to the very edge, all the way to the sides too. And close that up. Just like that. Now this we can't really put down on our surface, so we gotta kinda just hold it suspended like this until it is fully cured, or mostly cured. There we go. Just like that. We can kind of could put it down on our surface like this. And press from the inside. Just to kind of help it set a little bit quicker. Okay. Alright. So there's the basic structure of our little birdhouse here. And Look for the two square pieces here. Let me just make sure that these are square. I think they are. They are, okay. Now one of these has a tiny little L cut into it. That is your liner. That's gonna go on the inside. So put that off to the side for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our glue on this tab here, the tab that is just below the front window. And get our glue on there. Just get this nice and aligned, nice and centered. Like that. Okay, I can put that down on my surface and then I'll push from the inside. To get that to stick. Nice, that looks good. Okay, and then we're gonna close this up just to make this into, I guess, a box. I'm going to put glue on the remaining three tabs, and then we're going to get this closed up. Just like that. And just run that across. Now, if you don't get this all perfect, it's not a huge deal because this is going to go onto our base eventually, and no one's really going to see it. But still want to do your best. Okay, so get that closed off, get it nice and aligned with, I'm using, looking at the back right now, I'm doing that part first, and then running my fingers along the sides here, making sure that I've got good contact there. I can put this down on my surface now. You can either stick my hand in there, or if you've got a dowel or something handy, you can use that to kind of push down on those tabs in there. Okay, there we go. And there's our little door. Now here's our little liner. It's the square with the little L cut into it. Let's take a look at this. Oh. Yeah, I've got one little area here that isn't sitting very well. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of glue and just paint it right onto this little piece here. And then press that down so that it stays nice and in place for me. I'm just holding the whole thing and pushing it down. And then I'll just grab my, use my fingers to kind of push down on these little areas here just to make sure that it sticks. Okay, so that's good. Now we're gonna take a little bit of glue, pop it on the inside here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as the little piece stays. That's all we're interested in. Can pop it right through the door and press that down and into place. It's gonna help kinda stiffen it up, and make it more structurally sound. And there we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these little sides together. Okay, and the number two, you'll notice that um, there's little Roman numerals on this. There's a two and then there's a one. You want the one to be underneath the two, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna open this up and let's just put some glue 
on the back of number two, all the way out to the very edge, like that. Make sure that's nice and get it all the way out to that very edge there. And then just fold it over. Whoops. Oh boy. Just fold it over and make sure that that, that two piece goes right out to the very edge there. This should be nice and flush with the edge of that section there. And just press that down. Make sure that gets a good hold. Just like that. Okay. And I can do the same thing to this one here. So let's move this out of the way for a moment. Get our glue on the back of our number two. And especially out to the edge. Just brushing that onto the very, very edge of that just to make it sit nice. Okay. And get that glued in place. And that's going to keep the birdhouse nice and um, well, nice and sturdy so that it sits nicely for us. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we've got these two little pieces here. Okay, we're going to fold those in and then we're going to close this up like so making sure that we keep keep it nice and flush on the sides. So just a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there. And fold that in and make sure that's nice and flush right there. Let's give that a little squeeze. And let's go here. Okay, and the same thing on this side. Tiny little bit of glue there, tiny little bit of glue there. And just press and squeeze that between your fingers. Get it nice and aligned. Nice and flush. Okay, now we've got uh, one more little section of reinforcements here, and it's these little pieces here. There's two with a Roman numeral one, two with a Roman numeral two, okay? And the one um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take number one and we're gonna glue it to the tab on the left. So just throw a little bit of glue on there. Take your piece number one and just connect it to this tab here. Make sure it's nice and flush. Okay, just let that sit. Grab a number two piece, and we're gonna glue it to this little tab here. Whoops, way too much glue there. I'm just gonna dab that. Okay, so this is uh, the, the little strip with the number two on it. Okay, and the number two strip is a little bit longer. Let me move that out of the way. And that's just gonna kinda help the structural integrity, especially when we start placing the roof down. Okay, so now the number two strip needs to be on the outside. So what we're gonna do is, well, it doesn't matter really. I'm gonna put glue on number one. Make sure you get it all the way out to the edge. Okay. And then you're just gonna sandwich these together to kind of create one one line here. Okay. And that's fine. I think the, the glue is kind of making it bow a little bit, but there we go. Perfect. Okay. And do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't matter if you put one there or one here, as long as they go in the right order when you glue them together with two being on top. Okay, so again, just throwing a little bit of glue here. And that was way more than a little bit of glue. OK, 
Okay, so I'm putting number one here on the left. And I'm just gonna squeeze that in place. See, I'm gonna have to hold that, hold that in place a little bit longer because I went a little crazy with the glue. That's fine. And then the other little tab here, just a little drop of glue. And put my number two in place. Whoops. Excuse me, number one. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay, let's get that nice and aligned. And just hold that until it sets. That looks pretty good. Okay, so again, just make sure that your number two is on the outside, number one on the inside. Okay, so let's throw a little bit of glue on here. All the way out to the edge. And I'm just going to just kind of flatten that out a little bit. All right, so two on the outside. Should be nice and flush on both ends. And just kind of squeeze them together. And it should be pretty straight. Okay. All right. So our main birdhouse structure is pretty much done here. Now, one other thing that we can do, and we may as well do it now, is um, create our little perch and get that in place. Um, so the perch is made up of this piece here. And all you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of glue, put it on this tab. Just be very sparse with it. It's a pretty small piece, doesn't need that much glue. And then connect it to the other side. Okay, you can actually do this flat. So I'm just, I'm just pressing it down flat, but I'm still connecting that tab to the other side. And I can work with it flat, which is nice. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, now this side here, this is going to go into the little perch hole, and then we're going to glue it to the uh, inner wall. So this side here is the side that we need to close up. Okay, so we've got these three tabs here. Just going to put a little bit of, just a couple drops on each one, and then I'm going to just dab that to get it all the way out to the edges, and I'm going to close that up. Just make sure that you're making contact with those three tabs. Just hold that in place for a moment. Get that to really dry nicely for us. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, before we start putting the roof on and closing this thing up, obviously, we're gonna pop this through with those little tabs. Okay, you can see how that little perch works. Use this little back door here, and I'm gonna put one little dot of glue behind each of the tabs on the actual structure of the house there. You can see that I've got four little dots of glue. And then I'm just gonna take and fold those over onto the little glue that we put there. And maybe just start with one and hold it there until it's fully set. That's pretty good. And then do another one, maybe go to the opposite side, push that down, and then the other two. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. It's kind of hard to demonstrate this because I, I would need basically a <laughs> one of those endoscopic cameras. You know what I'm talking about. That little camera that gets into those tight little places. I don't have one of those, unfortunately. Okay. All right, so there's our little perch and you can see from the inside the tabs, how I push them over onto the actual structure um, where the glue was as well. Okay, so perch is there, and um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, we didn't have to do it right then and there, but it's fine. Okay, so um, just like we did with our previous birdhouse, we also are going to use a little bit of ribbon to create the little handle. Um, to open and close the door. So
So I'm just going to cut uh, a little bit of ribbon, probably like, I think I did about three inches last time, maybe two. That's probably too much. You could make it longer or shorter, doesn't matter. I think that's maybe a little too much. Let me just cut off a little bit. And I've got my scotch tape. I did this last time too, it just makes it a lot easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop this on here like that. So a little bit of it, it's sticking out and we're just going to glue that, tape that down. So in essence, this is what you have. You've got a little handle here. Okay. Now we've got this piece here. It's going to go over and cover that. Okay. So let's get our glue on this piece here. Look, of course you could probably, uh, you don't have to do the ribbon thing, but it is a nice touch and it will make it easier to open and close the back of your little birdhouse. Okay, so let's get this little piece on here to cover that up, make it look really nice. There we go. We got a nice little ribbon on there to help us open and close the door. And uh, well, we just have to make a roof and we're going to be done. Can you believe it? I think this one's actually a little bit easier than than the first one. But there you go. So you can see how the little ribbon is going to stick out so you can open and close the door. So far, so good. The little planter, we're going to glue that down later on. That's going to go flush up against the little, little rail there. And it's going to get glued down like that. Okay, but we're not, we're not there yet. We want to go ahead and build our roof, get our roof on, and then we can finish it off with the little uh, little shutters and stuff like that. So <clears throat> we move that out of the way and let's start putting together our roof. It should be pretty simple. Okay, so I've got the roof panels that I've embossed with kind of a, almost like a, a shingle sort of effect. I've also inked it with a little bit of uh, brown. And we've got these pieces here. And the actual roof is made up of just little boxes, in essence. And there's one of each of these and one of each of these. So I'm going to show you how to assemble this one and this one. And then you'll just have to do this one and this one. And then uh, we'll be kind of approaching the finish line here. Okay, so this is no different, aside from the shape, than the uh, basic structure, uh, the base that we created for the actual house. Okay, so uh, pretty repetitive process here because we've already kind of done this. So you should be an expert. Like I said, it's just, this is a rectangle instead of a square. So no difference. Okay, so we got that first little triangle connected. Now we're going to take and put some glue on this triangle. This triangular tab. And get that glued to the side like so. There we go. Moving right along to the next little triangular tab. Not a lot of glue, you don't need a lot. Just go easy on it. And squeeze. There we go, and the last one. Throw a little glue on there. And connect that to the neighbor. Give it a squeeze. And hold that. All right. So the sides are together. Looks good. And now we just need to close it up. And we can do that by putting glue on all three of these tabs here. And we do want this to be nice and clean and flush. Uh, it's not really going to be visible, but it is important that we try to get it as accurate as possible so that the roof looks nice and symmetrical and even and all that good stuff. But, you know, I've seen a lot of birdhouses in my days 
and you know after after they've been weathered a little bit they do kind of warp and things of that nature so you could say that was if there's a goof up you could always say that was an artistic decision that you wanted it to look more weathered but i'll show you how to do it right and hopefully you're able to do it too so i'm just closing it up running my fingers along the edges here making sure that everything is connecting nicely and there is the first little box it's going to make up the one section of the bottom of our roof. Okay, so that's that. You're going to do that again with this piece. Same exact process. Okay, so if you need to, just rewind a little bit and bring that up. Okay, so do that. Now we've got the larger piece. There's two of these, so you're going to do this twice as well. And this isn't really any different, again. Uh, and actually, this is very similar to the base that we just did. So put a little bit of glue on the little triangle here closest to the wall that has the large portion of the piece attached to it. And I kind of fold it back so it doesn't get in the way. So I can just kind of squeeze like that without having to worry about trying to do that. Okay. So give that a good squeeze and then move on over to this next tab and bring that in. And how are we going to do this, Leo? There we go, like that. Just get that nice and aligned and give that a squeeze. Okay, now this side is going to be a little bit different because of the angular nature of that side when we create the roof it's going to kind of meet at a point okay so we've got this piece and this piece what we want to do is we're going to throw some glue on both of these little triangles here like so and let me fold this little tab back so i can get my finger in there and just squeeze that in place like that and then the other side like that okay there we go okay now all that's left to do is put our glue on these three tabs just like we did with the smaller box just to close it up okay and get that glue right out to the very edges here. Like that. Beautiful. And just fold this down. Focus on the front here. Make sure that that is nice and aligned. Nice and centered. And then you can kind of nudge the sides in if necessary. And just to keep a steady pressure and continuous pressure all the way around while that glue bonds and sets and there it is okay so there's your roof piece and again we're just going to repeat this uh, we need to create one more of these using this piece so just rewind a little bit and make one more and you're going to make one more of these and it's this piece that we just made and then we can begin putting our roof together and getting it in place Okay, so I've got all four of the roof pieces assembled here. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these angular pieces here. We're going to glue these together. And one little trick is to kind of use the, um, the actual structure itself. You can put it down on your table. We're not gluing it to the table. We're just gluing it together. But to help get the right angle so that it sits correctly, we're going to kind of use this shape here to um, kind of get us the correct angle for this part here. So go ahead and put some glue on one of these pieces here. And let's get that glue all the way out to every little perimeter section here so that the whole thing is nice and covered, just like that. Okay. 
and grab your grab your house, grab your other piece, and just kind of pop it on like that, and bring it down. Make sure it's nice and flush, and then connect it right in the center. Oops. Make sure that you've got it nice and lined up there in the center. It helps when the when the glue gets a little tackier. It makes it a little easier. Okay, make sure it's nice and flat on your surface. That way, this part is nice and flush. And then just kind of keep it at the angle that that fits in there. And if even if it's a tiny bit off, it's okay because we're going to use some little um, strips here to help us get this thing in the correct position in just a moment. And you're gonna have a little bit of a gap at the top here, but once we put the roof on, we're gonna do it so that it kind of covers that up. So no worries, don't have to worry about it. But definitely use your table to make sure that this is nice and flush here. It might be a little off just because of human error, but that looks like, that looks like it took nicely. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to glue this to the actual house now. And you'll notice on the inside here, there's a series of little score marks, and that's just to help you get this nice and centered. Okay, so what we need to do is get our glue on this whole section here, okay, and on, on both sides, because we do need to kind of pop this on in one fell swoop. So get your glue. It's okay if you go a little thick with the glue here, but just definitely make sure that you focus the application of the glue out to the perimeter here. Okay, and then quickly flip it around and get it on the other side here. Just like that. And if you can, if you still have time, work that glue out to the edges. I kind of laid it on a little bit thicker to buy myself a little extra time, okay? And as I mentioned, we wanna make sure that we get this nice and centered here. So just kind of pop it in there and make sure that the actual structure is between those little guides that I just mentioned, okay? And just pop that on like that and hold it in place. Make sure that you got it nice and aligned, nice and centered, and just press and hold that down until we are certain that it's got a nice hold. And if we're a tad bit off, it's okay because we're going to, when we put the second secondary pieces in here, we can we can move them back and forth until they're completely aligned nicely. But this is probably as good as it's going to get and it will it'll be just fine. But definitely hold this down for just another moment to make sure that it really stays. Okay, so just hold that in place. Make sure that ain't going nowhere. Okay, so that looks good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this in underneath like that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put glue on this section here. Let me put this down. Get glue there. And then what you can also do is put a little bit of glue on this side here so that as we push this in there, those little one and two strips that we created, it's gonna kind of stick to that. So pop that in and push it down, but also make sure that it's nice and flush with the roof here. Okay, and just hold that down and in place, just like that. And again, making sure that it's nice and flush there with this piece. And then we're going to cover this up with these little panel pieces. So just hold that in place until it's set. 
And we made these panel pieces a little bit longer than the sides here so that even if, even if, even if it's not perfect, we'll be able to cover that up and make it look perfect. Okay, so and you can see here, little roof pieces are gonna go right on there and it's just gonna look really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Just gotta be careful, okay? And again, we're gonna put our glue right on this section here, a little bit up there, and then just pick a, pick a side and focus the glue here more towards the center because a little bit, little bit of it sticks out. Okay, so pop that in underneath this roof, slide it under until it's all the way flush like that. And then also make sure that it's flush here with the angle of the roof. Okay, push that all the way in. And it looks a little rough right now, but again, we've got nice trim pieces that are gonna go on top of all this to kind of cover it up and finish it off nicely. Okay, so just be patient with this. Make sure that everything has a nice hold before we move on. Okay, so we've got the panels on here, or the, the little main sections of the roof here. So let's get our glue onto the sides here, like so, and just make it real thin. So we're gonna put our little panel on here. And while we do this, we may need to kind of scooch things around a little bit. Now you can see that there's a little piece here that you have to bend and uh, uh, fold, and that is simply to uh, wrap around the little area there on the bottom. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good. Looks pretty flush. Pretty accurate. Okay, so just get that glued down. You can just do your best. Yep, this is gonna work out nice. Okay. And you can kind of peel this back and get your glue on the other side. Like that. And get that in place. Just kind of follow the natural slope of the roof. Everything else should kind of fall into place perfectly. And it is. If it's a smidge off, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit of glue on my little scrap piece here so I can paint this and get that to stick down nicely for me. There we go. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Now you can see here, we've got one more, one more layer that's gonna go on top of this to really finish it off. Okay, and that should fit right over this piece perfectly, which it does. Okay, so um, we've got these little pieces here that we folded over. We're gonna get these glued down into place like that. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. that down. Okay. All right, now set to repeat the same thing on the back with this piece here. So let's get our glue on this piece all the way down, thin it out. We still have a roof piece to put on, so if you get a little bit of glue popping off the side, it's not the end of the world. So we're gonna clean that off and finish it up. 
That should match up nicely, and it does. And you can see where this little fold is. I'm going to glue that down in just a moment. Okay, and I can peel this back a tad. Get our glue on this section here. Spread that out nice and thin. I'm going to way too much glue on there. There we go. There we go. Okay, and close that up. Just like that. And again, this top piece here, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and just paint it underneath and press that down. Okay. And our little piece here, throw a little glue on there. Fold her over. Okay. That's looking pretty sharp so far. And then finally, we've got these little pieces here to cover up these ends. So throw a little bit of glue onto this piece here and up and down that little, that little corner piece there like that. Okay, and pop that right on there. Make sure it's nice and flush with the top of the roof. Give that a little squeeze. Just like that. Let's take a look at that. Make sure it's nice and flush before we put our roof panels on. That looks good. Okay, and Looks like I didn't glue this piece down. Let's do that real quick. Okay, and finish this up here. Stab that. Okay. And clean that up. Okay, so that is basically the main structure. And now we've got a little overlay that we're gonna put on top of this to really make it look awesome. And that is this piece here for the front. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which piece you use. You wanna just line it up Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to put glue on this actual piece. You don't wanna put it on the green piece because you don't know where the cutouts are gonna be on the green piece. So uh, just get your glue on this piece here. Don't go too crazy with it. You don't want it leaking out. But I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do like half at a time here because it's a lot of little details and I don't want it to start drying out on me. I'm gonna just dab this a little bit. Okay. And grab, just match it up at the bottom. You can kind of start at the bottom and work your way up. Just make sure that it all aligns nicely. And it does. Right up to the top. That looks good. Perfect. Okay. And we can always touch things up if we need to. All right, so we can peel this part back a little bit and get our glue on this guy, or gal. And just work it. and do your best to kind of, uh, the paper's a little malleable here. You can kind of bend it back and forth if you need to a little bit and just adjust it however you need to to get it to sit properly. Okay, so there we go. That is nice and in place. 
Okay, there we go. So there is one side all completed. And you gotta be careful because of the little uh, perch thing. Uh, that's gonna go on the back now. So we're gonna do the same thing. Either side, doesn't matter. Start on one side. I wouldn't try to do both sides at the same time. It's I'm just asking for trouble. Okay. Perfect. And just get that nice and lined up. like that and kind of give it a squeeze here between your fingers and then run your finger along the top to get that all to stick nicely. And you can see I've got a little glue situation up at the top, but that's not a problem because we've got panels that still need to be put on there. So kind of let that, whoops, let that dangle. And let's get our glue on the back side of this piece here. Really going through a lot of glue today. Okay, I'm just gonna dab that slightly. And pop that down. Gotta be careful, because we've got our little perch on the back there. We don't wanna smush it. So you gotta kinda suspend it in midair while you work on this, which is fine. It's easy. Okay, and then check your work. Make sure that all the way up and down the roof here, that part's kind of sticking up. So I'm gonna grab my little scrap here, paint a little bit of glue into this area here, and just kind of clean it up. Make sure that it sticks nice and flush to that surface. And I've got the same situation here on the other side. Hello there, Mr. Glue. So I'm just gonna lift that back, paint it right on there, and press that down, make sure it's nice and flush. Same on the other side. Okay, so you can see how the roof is starting to shape up, and it's looking pretty good. It's actually really good. Okay, you got the nice beautiful details there. And then, of course, we've got um, these little pieces here for the sides. So let's get those glued down. You're gonna to wanna to put your glue on the back of this, not onto, in my case, the green structure because of the cutouts. Otherwise, you're gonna end up getting glue showing through the cutouts, which we don't want. And definitely make sure that that glue gets out to the very edges, the sides there. Okay, and then, oops. Just place that right there. Make sure it's nice and flush. There we go. Beautiful. Good connection there. Everything looks great. And we'll do the other side. This one's shaping up to be pretty fun, actually. Not difficult at all. Um, as I say sometimes, when customers email me, like, how long did that take? Well, I said, well, it depends how focused you are. And always remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. So I feel like the longer it takes for a project, the greater that sense of, sense of accomplishment is. So don't... Don't be, don't be deterred by the length of time it takes to create something. Okay, all right, so that is that. Okay, now again, we've got these pieces of the roof here and um, they only go on one way. So make sure that you, you get it on the right way. Okay, so you can see how that's gonna go. It's gonna go like that. And I'm gonna start with, uh, when you put this down, 
just make sure that you're getting good coverage at the peak of the roof so that when the other side goes on, they kind of meet. Okay, you don't want to leave a gap up there. All right, so I'm going to pop this on there and just kind of let it hang a little bit. Bring it down so it's nice and flush here, but also so that it kind of extends a little bit. It's, it's, it's perfectly engineered, so you shouldn't run into any problems as far as that goes. And that looks perfect to me, actually. Wow. Kudos to the amazing Dreaming Tree team. Uh, Ron's, of course, knocking it out of the park with the designs. And I know that Diana, when she went through the process of engineering all this, she had to go through it a couple times just to make sure that it was easy and that it was that everything fit perfectly and it does again as, as i mentioned this is my first time putting together this house and i'm doing it on camera for you with with no uh well there was no practice this is it this is my first time and look at the result it's great so you can see up at the top here how the pieces are meeting perfectly Okay, and it terminates exactly where it needs to. So just be conscious of that. Okay, and press that down, beautiful. Look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, so we've got this piece here and that's gonna go right here. Okay, so just pop that, pop that into place. Just throw a little bit of glue on there. Jam it up there. There we go. Just like that. That's nice. And then the other side. And then we've got two little accent pieces that we're going to glue down here in just a moment. Kind of keep everything nice and consistent and continuous. There we go. I did kind of tuck it underneath a little bit, that other piece, and that fits beautifully. Okay, so you can see how that looks. And then uh, we've got these little strips here that are gonna go right there in that little section there. So let's just get our glue on this little piece. You don't need a lot here, just a tiny bit. And that should fit perfectly right into that little section there. And I'm gonna raise that up a tiny bit. There we go. So you see what that looks like. And then finally, got the last little piece here. And we'll get that in place. Everything just fits like a glove. Beautiful. Okay, all right, so the house is done. It's beautiful. And all that's left to do now is get our little shutters in place. You can see that there's two little tabs on the back of each of these shutters. Go ahead and just throw a little bit of glue on that shutter there and just glue it right to the center of the frame. Make sure that it's nice and the inner, inner edge here is nice and flush with uh, the window and push that down. Do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just gonna use a little pop dot or a foam square to keep it open, but also to keep it kind of dimensional. Okay, so when you put that down, just make sure that it's nice and symmetrical with the other piece. And that looks, that looks about right. I'm getting kind of excited that this thing is almost done. And that's about right. Okay, so you can see how that's supposed to look. All right, now let me grab, let me grab some pop dots. I'm gonna tear it into smaller little pieces. You can tell that it's kind of warping a little bit from the glue. I'm gonna put one on the bottom. It's a tiny little bit on the bottom and then a tiny little bit on top. Oh boy, I'm just a gluey mess today. Come on, this is kind of why I don't like pop dots, but 
they work. And then just kind of press those down so it holds it. Grab the other side. Put a little pop dot back there. It almost wants to stick to me more than it wants to stick to the paper. I'm not that cool, pop dot. Hang out with the birds. Okay. All right, so there is, there's our little shutters. Okay. And, um, well, now it's basically time to get this glued to our structure. And I think the best way to do this is to throw a little bit of glue onto your planter first. Okay. And the planter is going to be flush up against the front here. Just make sure that you get it centered. Okay. So just get that nice and centered like that. And then you can take and put some glue on the bottom of our house. You can throw a good amount on there just so it sticks. And we're going to put that, we're going to put the house uh, literally right up, butting up against the planter. So that's going to help you with the centering too. Just get that nice and centered and just pop that down. And there you go. Okay. So your birdhouse is done. Okay. So again, just make sure that the planter is glued down nice and flush up against the fence. And then the actual birdhouse is going to be flush up against the back of the planter. Okay. And one thing I forgot to mention is this little part here. Um, these little pieces get glued to the top of the little trim for the, the house itself. So don't forget to glue both of those on both sides. And that pretty much completes this project, which I hope you enjoyed. And if you do make this or any of the items in our For the Birds bundle, I'd love to see your version. So visit us on the official Dreaming Tree group on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree group in the little search bar at the top. And you can join myself and 10,000 almost other dreamers who are inspiring us daily. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, um, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And that lets me know that you're, uh, you enjoy the videos and you enjoy crafting with me. So again, thanks for hanging out with me. And I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.